Greetings! This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer in the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to use cPanel's Git version control interface. Not sure what Git is, or why you'd want to host repositories on your cPanel account? Git's version control software tracks changes in a system of files that multiple users can manage simultaneously. While Git's main use is software development, you can use it to maintain any set of files. It does all of this through the use of repositories. Each repository in Git stores a project's files and the revision information for those files over time. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. And here we are in the cPanel Home interface. Let's find the Files section and then click Git Version Control. The Git Version Control interface will appear. The main interface displays a list of the repositories on my cPanel account, but I don't have any yet, so let's click Create up here to create one. A new interface will appear. Now I've got two options. The Clone a Repository toggle over here determines whether I want to clone a repository from somewhere, maybe on GitHub. Cloning means that I'm making a copy of the repository I clone. The interface enables cloning by default. If you're cloning a repository, you also need to enter your clone URL in the Clone URL text box. You get this URL from wherever you're storing the repository you're going to clone. For most repository hosts, it's pretty easy to find. I'm cloning cPanel's SSP repository from GitHub. If you want to create a completely new repository so that you can start from scratch on a new project, just click the toggle to disable it. Next, in the Repository Path text box, enter the path that you want to store the repository in. If the directory doesn't already exist, the system will create it along with the repository. If files are in that directory, but it's not a Git repository yet, cPanel will know to leave your files alone and just turn it into a repository for you. In the Repository Name text box, enter the name that you want the cPanel interface to display for your new repository. If you want the system to return you to the Create form after you create this repository, select the Create Another checkbox down here. Then, Click Create to create or clone the new repository. If you clone a very large repository, it might take the system a while to finish cloning it. We'll handle that part in the background and let you know when it's done. For each repository, this table shows you the repository name and the repository path. You can click Manage to update the repository's settings, but we'll get to that part in a second. You can click History to navigate to the Git web interface, which lets you view the repository's history and files. Or, you can click Remove to end cPanel's management of the repository. After you click Remove and then confirm the action, you won't see the repository in the interface anymore, but we won't touch the files in the repository. If you want to get rid of all of the files, you can do that manually in the File Manager interface or use any other methods you like. If you want to see more information about the repository, click the arrow to the left of the repository name. This will show you the repository's active branch information and the clone URL if you want to clone this repository to somewhere else. Click Copy to copy the URL to your clipboard. To open the repository's directory in File Manager, click File Manager. A new browser tab will open. Be careful what you do here, though. If you make modifications to or delete the .git directory, it could break your repository. Let's go back to that Manage action. Click Manage, and a new interface will appear. This part of the interface has two tabs. Under Basic Information, you can modify the repository's display name or check out a different branch. Just enter or select what you want, and then click Update. Over here, you can view information about the branch of the repository that's currently checked out. There's also information about the most recent, or head, commit. You can click History to go to GitWeb, and the clone URL here is the same one as the one in the list of repositories. Under Pull or Deploy, you can view the repository path and the remote URL. 
You can see the currently checked out branch and head commit information here too. On the right side, if you've ever deployed the repository, you'll see information about the last deployment here. You can click Update from Remote to retrieve new changes from the remote repository. Click Deploy Head Commit to deploy new changes from the cPanel hosted repository. If you want to know more about deployment and how it works, watch our Git version control deployment videos for all the details. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating.